how are you, Bombat? You okay? I'm good, yes. How are you? I'm good, good. I'm very excited actually, because like the only people who are skateboard team are girls at UK. This is sick. So <laughs> congratulations. This is super oh, thank cool. You. Thank you. How does it feel like knowing you're like officially now an ath like an Olympic athlete? It's kind of crazy that like, I mean, for the rest of my life, I'll be able to say like, oh, I'm an Olympian, which I'm, that's, it's insane. Um, and um, yeah, I, I've always like looked up to Olympians. They're like the best, you know, they, they really, they work really hard and I have a lot of respect for them. So it's really cool that I get to be like put in that bracket now, so. Who is your like female skate icon then? I'd say, well, my, maybe my favorite girl skateboarder now is um, Sakura, Sakura Yosuzumi. Um, yeah, the Japanese girl. I mean, the Japanese are just insane. But, um, and also Bryce Wetstein. She's out of California and she is like, she's been my favorite for years. But oh, she's so nice. I love her. She's super cool. And it's really cool to see you guys all skating recently in the comps together as well. You seem like quite a big family. Yes, it is nice that like, even though we all want to beat each other, it's still, it's still very friendly, you know, it's nice. If you could swap uh, like a signature trick with one of the girls, like who would it be and what would it be? Oh, um, let's see. I love Sakura's 540s, just like the way she does them. They're like very wide and she just lands so perfect. But, um, or, Maybe I, I love Sky's alley oops. I love how she does those. I mean, there's there's so many good tricks. I don't even know if I'd be able to name one right now. But what's the hardest trick? Do you think learning when you started off? Hardest trick, I'd say ollie. Even though that's like a fundamental thing, like you need to have that. It's still like still a struggle for me, and. It's like, you kind of need to, you know, even if you're a park skater, you still need to kind of have that. It, it helps with so many things, but oh, I don't like that trick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Um, so do you think that probably helps with the fact that you, you skate more transition? Like what made you decide to go more transition than street? Um, I just find it like more thrill seeking, you know? I think it just like, I don't know. I don't know, just for me, like the feeling of like, you know, going down all ramps and get to go all fast is like just more exciting for me than, you know, just like doing rails and stuff. Oh, I don't like rails. So this scared me and stairs, jumping down stairs, no. But um, yeah, I just like the feeling of getting to like cruise around and, you know, do big airs and stuff. That must be so, so exhilarating. And also the bowl is going to be huge at the Olympics. It's so Crazy. exciting. Oh, I'm so excited. I think we only get like a little, uh, throughout like the few days that we have practice, we only get like a couple hours each to like, you know, figure out a line, which is kind of crazy in that huge bowl, but you know, we'll make it work, I guess. <laughs> I was just going to ask you, like, what's your kind of plan? Are you going in with a bag of tricks and like a line in your head or are you just letting it happen when you get there? Um, well, I think I know all my tricks and I'm gonna, I'm just like practicing them now and, you know, just getting them dialed down. And then um, when I get there, me and my mom are kind of already looking at the photos like, okay, well, I can do this here and I can do this here. Um, and then I guess when I get there, I'm going to try to, you know, put it all together and figure out a line. Um, but yeah, oh, I'm nervous. That big, that huge, like, volcano thing in the middle. It's crazy. <laughs> it's so big. And especially because the girls are so much younger than the boys as well. So height difference for you guys, this is going to be huge. You know, getting through this park, it's a lot of, it's a lot of effort from you guys. Are you like prepping any differently now that you're an Olympian or are you kind of just skating the same? Um, I'm still kind of staying the same, um, to be honest, I, I will be honest, before, let's say, like, my nationals and due tour, I was almost kind of training harder because I needed, because I needed to do as well as I could to qualify, and now that I'm qualified, I'm kind of just like, I'm qualified, and I just want to do my best, so, I don't need to, I don't, I don't need to, like, 
completely kill myself training, but um, yeah, I'm still working hard. Um, and then guess one last question for you is what would you say to like potential female skaters to, who want to get into competition? Um, I'd say, you know, start small, maybe start with like a local contest or whatever, just like maybe like a little jam where they're giving out some prizes and then it's kind of like a good start into like a competitive mindset. Yeah, it's still fun. You make loads of friends, but um, pad up because get a helmet because you're going to hurt yourself and then you're not going to want to skate anymore. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you.